Bill Gowdy checking in. You know what time it is. Yes, sir. It's that time. You bet. Oh, man. It's been a long, long day. Had rain all day. Well, in the first part of the day. And, and I've been working on a tractor. I got an Alice Chalmer tractor, and she is just so darn particular. I'm telling you. Had a stuck clutch. Had a heck of a time getting that broke free. Look at that right there. I'm telling you. I worked hard for this one. I'm telling you. It's hot, hot, humid. Well, they're saying it's going to get down to 56 tonight. Can you believe that? 56? I'm running out of daylight. Whoa, whoa, whoa. That is so good. Look at that. I'm going to have to try that again. Mmm. Man, that is good. A while back, I watched a video by uh, Patrick Meehan. And I'm telling you, he, he did his first uh, meal from the garden. Well, I'm going to try to recreate that right now tonight. I got uh, zucchini. And I have potatoes that I grew in the garden. I have a couple of small uh, banana peppers. They're sweet peppers. They're not a hot pepper. I have several habaneros coming on. I got some uh, chilies. Uh, I got some jalapeno all coming on. But, uh, and, and several bell peppers. Uh, and I can't wait to hit that uh, hit the homemade salsa. Uh, I saw uh, Rivet Gardner's uh, video on his uh, uh, homemade, uh, whatever it's called, Piccadilly or Piccadillo or whatever it is. Yeah, I, I, you know, I'm a country boy. I call it salsa, but uh, it looked good. And then uh, I got a new uh, guy, a new sub, and he uh, was doing urban cooking. And uh, he was uh, out in a populated area with his small little uh, cooker and made guacamole and had a couple of beers and I really like that. The link to all these people will be down below. Go check them out. Now let's get to cooking. Let me show you what I got. Zucchini, tomatoes, uh, peppers. Uh, I'm gonna have a little, a little salad with some zucchini. It's gonna be all vegetables. I got no meat tonight. I'm gonna be, uh, you know, I got a little egg and uh, egg wash in there, so. But uh, I'll be eating uh, fairly healthy. Eh, I'm going to fry it in butter. But, uh, you'll see. Check it out. Mmm. Yeah, man, that's tasting pretty good. Real good. It's still 80 degrees. I don't know when that 56 is going to get here, but I can't wait. Here's what you're going to need. Stick of butter. Some Parmesan cheese. Any brand will do. Actually, it doesn't have to be Parmesan. You can use any kind of cheese. It's great. A nice zucchini fresh from the garden. I also have the makings for a salad. I had two banana peppers, early ones, and uh, a chunk of lettuce. That's for the salad. And some Ken's blue cheese dressing, one of my favorites. No more than a quarter inch thick. I like them thin. About like that. You can do the same thing with eggplant. You can use your fingers, but you end up with a lot of cracker crumb on them. Coat them like that. That's how easy it is. 
So here we are with the breaded product ready for cooking. So check this out. Yeah, boiled potatoes fresh from the garden. Now, I think uh, Craig, uh, I'll put a link to Craig's channel down below. He asked about that pot. And that's an all porcelain on steel pot and it is so easy to clean. Yeah, I know, it's kind of flowery. Uh, he said he didn't think that was a Bill Gowdy uh, pot, but I'll tell you what, I got that, I don't know, several years ago. I think it was a yard sale, and uh, you see this blackness right there, that will wipe, that will wash off just so easy. That's why I like to use that pot over the campfire. You see right there, boiling. Nice. All right, let's get to cooking, shall we? So, I have started out with, uh, uh, let's see, it looks like uh, two tablespoons of real butter. You just use the butter as needed. I can't stress to you how important it is not to have the fire too hot. You want it hot, but not too hot. And you see right there, you drop those in. And you brown them. Just that easy. Just like that. Look at this golden brown deliciousness. Oh yeah, nice. Tender, coated. Not too, uh, you know, that, that's just a medium heat. That skillet is just right, I'm telling you. Look at that. So here's my Parmesan cheese. These are hot, 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 right out of the skillet. You take your cheese and sprinkle over the top, just like that. Man, oh man. Now you just let them sit for a couple minutes and that cheese will melt in. Yeah. You can do this on a stove. You don't have to do it over a campfire. But uh, I prefer the campfire. I like the smoky flavor. So here we go. These here are the uh, garden fresh potatoes. This is my garden fresh zucchini with the Parmesan cheese. And then I have my garden fresh salad with my fresh tomatoes, fresh peppers, a little onion, and uh, my favorite Ken's blue cheese dressing. And then of course to top it off, a little uh, Anheuser-Busch product. Let's uh, let's give this a try, shall we? Look how tender that is. Just look, just look at that. Look at the texture. Can you see that? Can you see how that is? Look at that. Kind of a big piece. Yeah. Mm. Mm. I I just love. I just love zucchini. It is so good. Let's, go, let's try a bite of those potatoes. Let's take a look at those potatoes. Look at that. Mmm. Man, oh man. Trying to keep up with Patrick. Oh, that is so good. Mmm. Salad is awesome. Wow, that is good. Cheers, Patrick. Got you back, buddy. Bill Gowdy out. Thanks for watching. I do appreciate everyone. Bill Gowdy out. Man, that is good.
I almost forgot. Cabot Bluegill. Check him out. Such an inspiration. Yeah, it's all, all the stuff coming out of his garden, too. All right. Bill Gotti out. Really out this time. I know I forgot lots of you. Uh, but, you know, this little mind, little brain I got, it don't work right all the time. Cheers. Bill Gotti really out.